Hello guys, Solitary Gamer here, back with another part of Tales of Graces F, and let's get started. Okay, let's go this way. Let's fight. We have visitors! Come on. Strike, strike, he did thing. It will take more than that to stand in our way. Great. Whoa. Will you guys help me out? Okay, let's go this way. We seem fine so far, but isn't that Raka whatever up ahead? Let's ask around. The town people should know something. That sounds like a good idea. Let's go up here. Who do I talk to? Don't kill the Rakugong. It survived for eons. And his great scientific value. I don't want the rocket gong to die. We're, we're not here to kill it. We we just came to investigate. That sounds like a lie. Then why is the military deployed on the high road, huh? Answer us that. We did it so we could initiate rescue operations in case the creature starts hurting citizens. Oh, someone get me out of here. Wow, man. The Rockagong's got its own fan club and everything. That's no surprise. It's a gentle beast that never caused problems for anyone. Those calling to save the Rockagong are growing by the day. However, there are many who need to use the road, and therefore wish the creature dispatched by any means necessary. The will of the people is very divided. If nothing is done, the situation will only grow worse. This is a problem. We need to get to you, Liberté, as soon as possible. That's unfortunate. I don't see this being resolved anytime soon. Then what do we do? Captain, in a worst case scenario, how dangerous could the Rockagon be? I've heard it's quite large, but aside from that, I don't know. I've never seen it myself. We should just hit the high road and see what happens. Then, if it attacks or whatever, we can just scream and run away. I guess that's a plan. Well, we certainly won't reach the capital by standing around here. Let's go.
Wait. Do I go this way? I forgot. What? What the? Whoa. Pascal? Like, what's going on stuff? What is going on? Pascal, what are... The contract has been fulfilled. I am Saiyajin, beloved maiden of the Water Dragon. What? What's going on? The Christ has responded to your blood. My power is yours to use as you wish. Go and train yourself well. I should put upon this world together. So, did she just get uh, like a strong power up? Is this her power now? It's gone. What happened? What's all the commotion? Something strange happened when she touched the blue price here. Strange how? How do I put this? This crazy spirit woman thing just appeared out of nowhere. You're kidding. Did she happen to have long flowing hair and skin like that of a pale blue sky? That was her. So the rumors were true. You don't mean. It's a popular story among researchers. Sometimes people can hear voices and feel eyes upon them when they're up working, late working. It might have something to do with this tower's particular origins. Um, maybe we don't need to hear about this right now. Actually, this is perfect time. Please continue. Well, apparently a town once stood beneath the area where the tower was, where this tower was built. So there's a chance some of these townspeople might have been buried alive. Ugh. There's a path be down below that leads deeper into the tower, but requires a door that we cannot open. And if you pass through the door... Eek, please, Captain, don't say anything more. On the subject of ghosts, I honestly cannot say, but we do know for sure that a town once existed here. And if you saw what you claim, then perhaps it may have some special connection to you. To us, wow, I wonder what it could be. Why don't you go, why don't you go take a look, Sherry? Now cut that out. Okay, what's this place? Let's fight. Why is my character so weak? Attack, attack, attack. Not bad, don't you think? Ground shaking. Is it an earthquake? Hey, not cool! Where did this stupid sandstorm come from? Look, over there. Oh no!
What? It's that big? The Rakagon? Whoa, that thing is really, really, really big! You're telling me. Whoa! Wait, what? I thought we were supposed to have a fight. Where are we? Syria, wake up! Oh no! Sophie, get up! Sophie! Wait, are we inside the Rockagon? We're in its stomach, to be more precise. In its stomach? No way! Oh my gosh, this is great! Who knew this thing would be so big? At least someone is having a good time. Sticky. Ah, gross! What is that stuff? Well, if we're in the stomach, it's probably some kind of horribly toxic acid. We should get out of here. I don't really want to be dissolved by stomach acid. What would you suggest? Mm, let's try that way. It looks kind of blur, but it's probably where the mouth is. Otherwise, we gotta go out the butt. Uh. Uh, uh, absolutely not. Unbelievable. If it makes you feel better, I'm almost sort of totally sure this leads to the head. I hope so. If we don't hurry, we'll be digested and end up going out its butt anyway. This is not happening. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's just keep going. What? Thing's huge. Be careful. I'm trembling. Why? Okay. Let's go. That wasn't too hard. Pretty sure that was not the boss. Whew. Hey, look over there. Wow, look at that. It even swallowed a house. At least it's not picky. Unbelievable. The outside looks undamaged. Which means the inside might be habitable. Let's take a look.
Anything here? Hey, look. Is that a flute? Oh, we should take it. You know, just in case. So, is there anything else exciting in here or what? This appears to be a journal. If these pages are correct, the monster we just fought is the reason for the Rockagong's rampage. It's a parasite that's causing the Rockagong to run mad. So if we kill the parasite, the Rockagong will be all happy again? Supposedly, the Parasite Queen has a purple body. If we eliminate her, it will eliminate the rest. It also says the flute you found will cause the Rockagong to appear when played. That's awesome! But also kind of useless since, you know, we're already inside it. There's one more note. It says... You who are reading my journal, please do what I could not. Please save the Rockagong. Our main goal is to get out of here, but it would be nice to help the Rockagong too. How about this? We'll kill any parasites we find, but keep moving for the exit no matter what. Sounds like a plan. Who are you? Oh, that's it. Okay, let's go down here. Here we go. Gotta keep striking. True strength? Huh? Wait, what? Five, five, five.
to study up on the basics. There's more? find a way. After all, we're not in this alone. We have Hubert helping us out too. See? Oh, that's Hubert's good luck charm. Our luck may be starting to come around. Thanks to this Rockagong not being such a picky eater. See? I told you, Sophie. Not being picky is a good thing. Okay, I'll try. But how does it not being picky help us? The shell of this egg hasn't deteriorated. It means it's strong enough to survive the acid here. It won't be digested, so I'm sure the creature will pass it sooner or later. I get it. We just burrow into the egg and wait for the Rockagong to eject us. And since we're not crawling out the butt, even Sherry should stop. That's gross. You're all so <laughs> very gross. But you just told me not to be picky. Uh, look, we don't have time to wait around for this thing to pass an egg. Let's try to find another way. I'm actually going to stop here. I'm a little lost. Thank you for watching this part of Tales of Graces F. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.